I don't have a chain, but I want one. I, I, I wore one on stage. My buddy Kevin Mack gave me a chain. He goes, wear my chain when I was in Brea. And I go, what? He goes, wear this. I put it on, and I looked sexy. And I had it. I've never performed with a chain on. And in my what sick kind mind. What chain was it? Just a small chain with a little, like, uh, like a St. Catherine thing on it. Like a little. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, tasteful chain. Now, now, Kevin, if you know Kevin Mack, you don't know him, right? Tall, 6'5", handsome no. son of a bitch. Come, rides a Harley, sponsored, I think, by Indian, whatever the fuck. But a stud. That looks good on him. He's only certain guys handsome guy. Only yeah, certain guys yes. when, you're, when you look like him. Uh, I put it on. At and, your age? And at my age. But I, I was like, and, and in my sick mind, I was like, this might weigh me down a little on, on stage. I was like, ooh, this oh, is not my neck. Well, no, I had to hide feel it. comfortable. Right. But then I've I, changed right before a show. I'm like, I don't feel that comfortable. I'm be super self conscious about it. I'll, yeah. go, I'll run, run, and change. And yes. Come back. Sometimes my shirt will be too tight because I shrunk it as usual. Yeah, I hear you. Or it's too, a little too short. And when I lift my arms up, you can see my. That's not. Ooh, the little midriff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Too short of short shirts there, my man. I want to bring back the baby shirt. I want to cut it right, right below the midriff? Tit, tit line. You can't wear it in the NFL anymore. Remember when guys like. Yeah, guys why? Because gay. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> you go through periods of time when you feel like it's over and you're irrelevant. Sly told the whole, most hilarious We're story about in entertainment. not being able to get a movie made. He couldn't get the Rocky whatever it was made. And, yeah. and he fucking was like sitting at the bar and he's like, well, it's over. I had my run. It's over. <laughs> I mean, but dude. But still. He made still, 90 movies. It doesn't matter. He's still like, I, I had my run. It's a form of death. And then uh, his friend came over and goes, how are you doing? He goes, I'm not doing good. Not good. Because he wanted to make that yeah, movie Yeah, and then, then this, 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 this producer said, I read that script and made my wife cry. So anything like that, I'm going to... Cry? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm doing the movie. But like, you know, you always think that it's the last time you're... I've never met an actor or, any, or a director that didn't, didn't feel like this was their last gig. That, that it doesn't, it, I'm done. This yeah. is the end. You know, everybody... Every, I think being insecure... <clears throat> run, though. Insecure is, is, is probably crucial. I don't Crucial. Like, do you know anyone who's not? Do I, I don't know. Do you know anyone who's not? No, I don't. Name but one. We should talk about this only because you and I are around successful people, and there are a lot of people who are younger listening. If you're talking and about when I was time, I'm a when, I, when I was your age, when I when I, mean, when I was when I was in my twenties, I thought people who were up there were secure. Like I thought that they had it all and they they had arrived. They don't have the same. Problems. But there's no such thing. No. Right. Like part of what drives you is the fact that you always feel like you're um, less than. That's certainly for me. I mean, I don't oh, yeah. know where I'd be if I didn't hate myself a little bit. So it's okay if you don't like yourself. What matters is just take the actions and keep reaching. You're never going to be self perfected, but at least you'll get. Close. You've already heard this everywhere in the news. Yeah, the problem is that, that I don't know what to believe. Brother was the one who. Yeah, got so that's it. the problem. But he yeah. was a what, former. What his brother hired this guy. A former Epstein hired this guy. New York Medical Examiner. Oh, so he was more pro to like conspiracy theory. It's more consistent with a homicidal strangling than it is a suicidal, you know, hanging. Because that's what he was saying. Bones. Whatever that means, and yeah. And then, so that wasn't really the news because that's everywhere right now. But then this guy, who's a dog expert, was on Fox. A dog expert? Yeah, because you know that one dog that was important in the uh, in killing the ISIS leader guy. Yeah. Remember that? It was like Malinois or something. Yeah. I think. Oh, so I this thought guy this, says, "Hold up! I thought this dog expert was weighing in on the Epstein. No, he just murder. throws it in the very last okay, part. Okay, that's it. <laughs> All right." And he can't wait. So thank you and thank Nero for your service. I appreciate it. Absolutely. If, if I could, could I throw a PSA out real quick? Real quick. Uh, just the, the remarkable nature of these dogs and, and them being highlighted in the news creates a, a huge demand by people that, that frankly shouldn't have them. If, uh, if you see the, the coverage and you decide, I want one of these dogs, either buy a finished, trained, uh, you know, fully trained and, and finished dog from a professional, uh, or just, just don't get one at all. Um, that and Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's awesome. That's so funny. That's, that was great. He didn't know what to do with it. He's all okay. Wow. He didn't kill himself. Oh, that's so that's, that's so great. Funny. And that guy's in the military. Said that he's an expert dog trainer. Oh, he's an expert yeah. dog trainer. That's so funny. That's though. awesome. Way to go viral, man. That's hilarious. That's fucking. He's right nice. about those dogs. Don't very, very true. Those. Yes, those is very, very Don't true. Buy those dogs like that. Every trainer I know. I Our one. boy Nick West is that his name. 
He said, he goes, don't get one of those dogs. He goes, you don't get a high drive dog. You had, the, the, the problem is that they're fucking, it's like having a, a race car. Yeah. It's, they, they will bite More somebody. so than a race car. They will bite somebody. It's like in a spaceship. Yeah. They'll just you don't bite somebody that comes in the wrong way. Yeah. I'd be freaked out. You say the wrong word. It's, it's, I, you I, have I, to have that dog with you 24 seven and you have to have trust trained. your boy here. A, it yeah. is tough to manage. It's a fuck. It's a, it's a motherfucker. It's chaos. <laughs> it's chaos. Yes. Those dogs are not, they're serious animals. They're called, that's what they call sharp dogs. They're smart as shit. No, you might as well put a leash on a crocodile. Yeah, they'll bite the shit out. I had a crocodile covered yeah. in fur. My buddy had one. He was a SWAT sergeant. And a kid comes in with his friend, and the dog goes, rrr, rrr. and he was a shepherd. And he goes, You afraid of dogs? And the kid goes, Yeah. He's looking at this wolf. He goes, He senses that. Don't act weird. Now, what do you do there, though? What the fuck are you I supposed to do, dude? That dog is a fucking wolf, and it's looking at me. It, it, they're, they're, it's a liability. Yeah, I love them, but it's a liability. Yeah, you got you to know how to. You got to know how to handle. You got to be a. You got to be a, a veteran. Get a fully finished dog, and know that you have to keep that fucker kenneled if you're away. Because if somebody comes in your house, they're getting yeah. bit. They are amazing dogs, though. Yeah, they're cool. They're they're incredible, but they're not for they're for professionals. Police, military. Correct. I, yeah. I I don't want to see a bunch of uh, civilians breed these dogs now and have those dogs, and then it's just ridiculous. They're too smart to be neglected. All that's it. For reals, Brian. Be responsible. I don't now, feel good. Cat gave me that that chicken sandwich. I'm on. Thought, I feel like I'm on hot ones right now. Real quick, you're white. So when Cat goes, hey, Fuck. how spicy you want your chicken sandwich? We want it white hot, Cat. Meaning God Caucasian hot. For me, God medium. God damn it, Kat. Brian kept on saying that he's Sicilian and that he could handle it. You well, me nuts. I saw a single tear coming I lived, down. I know. I lived Just in Indiana and Pakistan. That they have hot food. I, I ate two medium. I feel so sick because I've been fasting all day. That was a bad idea. I mean, I feel like you put hot coals in my mouth. I'm dying right now. <laughs> but but why the left eye just crying? Is there's, that, is there's that just e your feminine uh, that, eye? That's, that's my perv eye. <laughs> hey, Kat, is there even hotter than the hot? Yeah, there is extra hot and then howling. Chin, what'd you get? I got medium. What do I have? You have hot. Medium Fuck. chin? Medium, You're medium hot. It's medium hot. But mine's medium. But I, I want to enjoy, I don't want to like, <laughs> like Brian's doing right now. <laughs> Dude, well, I'm gonna, we should have got, got, got the poop. Thai hot or whatever the fuck, the, the atomic hot or whatever. My poor asshole. Oh, the howling? One like, of us should have got howling. I'll get you guys chicken wings next time. No, it's my, not going in, it's going out. My asshole's going to be like, sick. <sighs> but you know, different sick. peppers have different effects. For me, jalapenos are the worst. This is so weird to me. I thought a lot about this. The amount of time I spend at 52 uh, doing jujitsu, uh, well, boxing, just, well, just recently, but but but, but I <laughs> doing this like I'm, I'm I just came from Higa Machado school. I'm practicing armbar and I'm practicing guillotine. It's very relaxing to me because I feel like ah oh, good rounding off those edges in case there's a situation. At least I can. At least I'm not an idiot. It's been a long time since I've grappled and I now check that off. I'm grappling again and boxing. So these are things I. This sounds crazy, but, but it makes me feel it. safer. I you do. Enjoy I do. Doing I do it. love the art. But maybe you felt but unsafe as a kid. Of course too. I did. Of course you know, I did. In certain situations, you were a smaller you really kid. Why well, was moved to different Shitty parts genetic. of the world? Yeah. Yeah. And you always get bullied oh when you're moved. Oh, to yeah. <laughs> you gotta stop. You gotta stop for a second. You gotta stop for a second. <laughs> I, I, what did you say? I'm trying to. I didn't, I didn't hear what you said. What did you say? <laughs> what, dude? I can't say anything. You fucking I, I said know you, man. Genetics. I didn't say that. I have a strong jaw. I'm beat out. You I'm were, built like a frog. I'm and just, you said that. You were built like the WB frog. <laughs> I don't know if that's WB good. But frog. the point is this, dude. Well, I'm saying I don't like the way you're fucking talking. No, I'm not touching no, your hand. What? No. Get your finger out. Don't touch my finger and don't invade my personal WB space. WB Frog, listen. I have good genetics. You do. I'm hot. You have great <laughs> I'm a chicken sandwich. But hey, beep. I feel so sick. Party. I looked at Brendan. We went to one of his parties. I was like, well, this is Snoop Dogg video. It was so crazy. Oh, I went pants. See ya. I, I was like, I was like, hey, what, where's when? When do we take the sex break? Because this is uh, and then old big boy started crying. Brendan, Brendan <laughs> wept in the car after a uh, DMT session. And, it was uh, the DMT. Uh -huh. I couldn't figure out why I was crying like that for Tim Kenny. I love Tim, one of my favorite people on earth. But he didn't want him to die. I don't know why I was crying. I, was, I didn't want him to die and go back to war. I'm talking yeah. to my I'm talking to my wife at the time. He just, your heart. He's, he's dude. He's I, that's blubbering. the hardest I've ever cried. I think behind his. And then I couldn't figure out. I'm like, why am I crying? Like, Evan, I Evan the beard was in the back seat. I was like, Evan, let's go back in there. And I walked into your. It was party. the DMT. I, go, I forgot we did DMT. Uh -huh. Then it'll be a little late. He's got allergies. He's crying. Oof. Um, I was. I mean, dude. Ah, that was. You told me to tell me you had a allergies. good cry feels nice. Though. It does feel nice. Oh, it feels. You nice. had a great experience, man. I remember you just laughing ah. when that when that when that 
chrysanthemum of divine light just transcended oh. and poured through the top of your head and it you just started insane. you just started laughing because it's so beautiful that there's no other response that actually makes i was sense. laughing so hard well, remember like dude quiet pipe down <laughs> yeah. what do you think of uh dmt I was laughing pens. like the joker the same thing oh, man dmt pens i think i was a little skeptical so like people shouldn't be doing these out in public and i still believe that but if you do the dmt pens in the same type of ceremony that we did it is the fucking way to go because for one it's not going to burn your lungs for two if you're actually in control of your own pen you can reach the level of dmt load that you want and then you can keep sipping on the pen and stay there oh wow so it feels like you're getting contact with what i call what they call the doctor citos little doctors right these like little doctors of light that are like me, like fixing you it feels like they're fixing you or they're teaching you or they're talking to you about something or showing you something but with DMT, normally it goes in this curve and then it just slips away. Slips away. So fast. But if you have the pen, you just keep sipping the pen. It also felt keep like... sipping the pen, you can stay there. Where do I get that pen? Yeah, where do we get these I pens? I gotta go down that rabbit hole. Yeah. But, but the, I also felt like, I felt like I was there for a while. And I was like, how long was that? You're like, that was like a minute, dude. Yeah. But the, it felt like I was in this gold heaven and like floating. It is the greatest thing I've ever There's done. Dicks in something. It's really fucking special. Oh no. <laughs> gay. Oh no. I did DMT and I came out gay. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird, man. When you see my back ripple and I pull myself up like a chimp, like a chimp 30 like times chimp. while talking to you, why wouldn't I give that to you as it's inspiration? It's a gift. It's a gift, really. It's a gift. Shit.